Henry, will you, you won't agree with uh, the Guardian's Wilson, Jonathan, when he says that he writes, Ghana football in crisis, a generation of talent wasted. You won't agree with him. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I do not agree, um, simply because every generation has its own issues. Um, I remember in 2004 when we did not qualify for the AFCON, there were lots of talent in that team. You know, Gaston Ayanfo, Sammy Kufo, Sam Johnson, um, um, Stephen Beidou, um, Richard Kingston, um, and so forth and so on. Mohamed Gago and, and all those players. And we had one of the finest coaches uh, who was at the helm at the time, um, Bukadzis, you know, but we did not qualify. So I think that sometimes uh, pointing accusing fingers without looking into the signs or the merits of the issue becomes the crux of the matter in situations like this. Um, and so it is not only about talent, it is not only about coaching, there are a myriad of issues that have contributed to where we are. If you ask me, I, I think that Maybe, uh, just maybe, after the AFCON um, in Cote d'Ivoire, when we exited from the group stage, we, we decided to, the executive council took a decision to fire the coach who was in charge at the time, and then went through a process to bring in a new coach. And when the new coach came, we won our first two matches mm. in the World Cup qualifiers. So where were those talents? Those talents who are playing today were in that team that beat Mali in, in Bamako. They had gone about seven years or so without losing at home, but mm. we went to Bamako to win. So, yes, um, in the last six games from September 5, when we lost to Angola in, in Kumasi, drew with Niger in Morocco, drew with Sudan in Accra, went to Libya to lose to Sudan, and then drew with um, Angola last week and came to lose to Niger. There are issues. There are a number of factors if you want to analyze the games one after the other. Hey, Jonathan says that the Black Stars have been abysmal throughout the qualifying process, a fate they undeniably deserve. Entering the last two fixtures, victory was essential alongside a hope that Sudan would falter in their matches. However, against all odds, Sudan triumphed over Niger with a shocking 4-0 victory dashing Ghana's hope even further. The first sentence I read, the Black Stars have been abysmal throughout the qualifying process, a faith they undeniably deserve. I, yes, I will say that our games were not <clears throat> good enough per our standard. Um, I am the first to admit that uh, when we lost to Angola, I started feeling uneasy, you know, and I told a number of people, I spoke to some of the players, I spoke to the coach, that this could come back to haunt us. I, 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 I mentioned it to the president because the African game has got into a level where you, you tend to suffer if you do not take your home points. Um, as soon as Angola beat us in, in Kumasi, City, grew in confidence, went on to win and win and win, and they went through the entire process without you know, losing a single game. Mm. So yes, performance-wise, I, I wouldn't rate the team highly, um, I can pick out the game against Angola in Kumasi and probably, you know, the game against Sudan in Accra. The rest were not good enough. Yeah, so they went you through know, without, so without losing a single game and we went through without winning a single, a single game. game. Yes, that's why, that's why I said that I will, I will agree to some extent, to a large extent, that our performance was not good enough. This is not the standard of the Black Stars. In, in previous qualifiers, two games to spare, we are already there. In previous qualifiers, maybe a, a game to end the qualifying series, the team um, has already qualified. But that is not what happened this time round, where we were going into the final round of games, hoping Niger will beat Sudan, Ghana will go to Angola and win, and then we'll come back and beat Niger, and then hopefully Angola will go to Sudan and shock them, you know, in, in Libya. But you, you try as much as possible to avoid these challenges, you know, by taking your home point. And as soon as you drop home points, especially when you are unable to win away from home. You know, before we beat Mali in Bamako, the team had gone um, more than one year without winning a game on the road. And so you have to consolidate your performance by winning your home games. Mm. And then you try to pick some points 
on the road to be able to qualify. And that is, and that is the simplest way of dealing with qualifiers of this nature. Once that did not happen, the pressure will increase. The players will begin to have doubts in their mind, and that is what happened. And then as soon as injuries also set in, you tend to lose the spine of your team. So the factors are quite enormous. And if we are going to deal with one factor after the other, we'll be able to look into the issues scientifically, assess them, look at management role, look at technical role, look at um, the playing body and their responsibilities. And I think that would help us. But generally, in terms of performance, we were not good enough. It may not be the best example to use, but imagine the Black Stars were your kid that you have hired a teacher for, and you put them through an exam, and they fail from one to the next, one to the next, one to the next, until they get a, they get a Z. What will you do? You, you have to continue to invest. In the teacher? Unfortunately, no, not in the teacher necessarily. First of all, you need to look into the matter. But you, you will drive the teacher if, away? If, if it depends. You lose your dogs on the teacher when it comes to the gate? It, it depends. It's not always the case. That has been what we've, we've done or mm. uh, the association has done in the last four occasions. Um, CK left, Milo came, Milo left, Otto came, Otto left, Chris Hilton came, Chris left, and Otto came back. <laughs> you know, so you, you, in, in each of these situations, there are reasons. It's not only about technical reasons on the pitch. Sometimes it's about management of the pitch, which you know, informs your decision or gives you the reason to fire. Mm. So the example you gave, if my, if my child continues to fail in the school and he has a teacher who is good, maybe we have to go into the issues by engaging the teacher, engaging the child, sit both of them down, find out what is wrong. If the problem is coming from the teacher, you fire the teacher and get a new, a new teacher to, to, to take over. If the problem is coming from your ward, you look at the solution. Is the solution about giving up? Absolutely not. You have to continue to invest. So we are in a very tight situation where we cannot abandon the team, where we cannot say our national team yeah. hasn't performed. I'm not sure anybody last, is suggesting you should abandon the, the team. In the last, no, there have been issues about investment. Mm -hmm. And you need to also look at investment and return. The return, the return after investment or the benefit after investment. Government will continue to invest. But when it gets to a point where you are not getting the results, what do you do? Mm. I think that is where we, we, we are. I, I can imagine that naturally at the GFA, you are very hurt, right? Absolutely. Except that people say your comments don't show it. Because if you have the power to hire and you're embarrassed in this manner, the first things you do is to use that power. Okay, so in the, in the Executive Council meeting on Wednesday, they um, took a decision to invite the coach, which is a norm, it's been happening, you know. Um, so the coach will appear before the committee. He needs to submit his report. His report will be perused by the committee. Um, hopefully his report would be submitted before he appears. Mm. So by the time he appears, they have a full knowledge of what transpired in the, in the qualifying series, whatever challenges whatsoever. He needs to make it known. And once he appears before the committee and answers questions, they will make a firm decision regarding his future. That is the, the okay. state of affairs. So, Edward, I'll come to you.